folks, I'm Ron Brown. Welcome to my shop. Today, I would like to talk to you about a product that I have completely redesigned. I think you're going to like it a lot. I've made several changes, and uh, let me show you what they are and why you might need something like this. So first off, why would you use a steady? Well, there are two major uses for a steady rest. And one is when you have something long and uh, small in diameter, it'll tend to whip when you're working out here in the middle. There's just not enough support. Even with the tailstock up and you have it trapped between centers, it'll still tend to whip quite a bit. So use a steady rest to get rid of vibration in that circumstance. The second reason that we would use a steady rest is because we want to eliminate vibration and we want to support our workpiece when we're inside hollowing because when you hollow a lot of times you're putting a lot of pressure toward uh, the front side of your vessel as you're in here with either your hollowing rig or your bowl gouge or something you're pushing like crazy and uh, you, since you only are holding this on one end that force is multiplied the further you get out so in order to eliminate vibration and to uh, implement a measure of safety we'd like to use a steady rest to hold this solid for us. I make these in three sizes to fit six different lathes. The smaller one here is a 12 inch steady rest but it also can be adjusted or assembled so that you can use it on a 10 inch lathe and it'll fit perfectly. The next one here is a 16 inch model but you can assemble it so it fits perfectly well on a 14 inch lathe for those of you who have 14s. The next one here is the largest size I make at least for now and this is for 20 inch lathes but you can also assemble it so it will line up perfectly for an 18 inch lathe like the new Jet 18s, and Laguna 18s and the Grizzly 18s. So I'll show you how that works in a little bit. I make these in three sizes, a 12, a 16, and that big 20. However, these will fit six different size lathes. See these mounting holes on the back? This is sized to be uh, six inches on center. Well, six inches radius gives us a 12 inch diameter lathe. See the two little extra holes? They're up one inch. What that means is when you assemble it, if you use the upper holes, now it's five inches on center. That'll fit a 10 inch lathe. Same way with a 16. It's got a second row of holes as well, so it'll fit a 14 inch lathe. And on the 20, if you use the upper row of holes on it, now you've got one that fits perfectly for an 18 inch lathe, like the new Lagunas and uh, uh, the Grizzlies and the new Jet uh, 18 inch lathe. I need to set the 16 inch steady rest up on a 16 inch lathe so let me show you how we would set it up. First of all the base here is a full inch thick of extruded aluminum from the 8020 people and it's three inches wide. We have a uh, clamp that's going to go under the bedways and we're going to lock that down with a 3 8 inch bolt. One of the very cool features of this design is that it comes apart, it opens. So if you have a piece mounted on the lathe already, you don't have to dismount it in order to use this. So we remove one bolt here with a simple five star knob. And then we've got some ratchet knobs here and it doesn't matter whether you put these on the back here which I did or the front it really really doesn't matter and when you take this out you can very simply pivot this out of the way so the way I like to assemble these is going to be right here so in order to give you maximum capacity, I need to minimize the height of the mounting bar down here. So I've chosen to use a flathead 3 8 inch screw that would be totally flush uh, with the top 
of our mounting plate. So could take the time to remove the tailstock and everything or I could just reach under there and uh, tighten it up by hand which is what I've chosen to do here. If you choose and you need uh, you think you need a little more working room we can easily remove both bolts and have something that's completely open and a lot easier to, to use. So the way I've designed this uh, should work on most lathes. I'm sure there are some it's not going to work on. But the bottom clamping piece here, has uh, it's well supported by washers. And for me, I've discovered that I can just uh, put it right down there wherever I need it and then lock it down wherever I'm going to use it. So let me show you how I would uh, assemble the 16-inch steady rest if I needed to get in here and hollow out uh, my segmented piece. So I have chosen to uh, install this with it pretty much disassembled. And I'm going to need this to be up about there. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and lock this down pretty much in the center. It doesn't have to be exact, exactly in the center. So I'm going to tighten this up and then we'll go ahead and put on the other piece. I'll show you how easy and, and quick it is. So with the wheels in the wide open position, I'm going to take my one bolt, put it here in the front, set the uh, front half of the steady there. The back has a mating piece on it. So it'll line up perfectly. Then I'm going to install that. There is a bolt that goes through here with a star knob. So we'll put our bolt through there, put on the washer, use the star knot. So it's all one solid piece now, but for security, I'm going to go ahead and put in a the second bolt here. Use my other little ratchet knob, lock it down, tighten that one down, and now we're all solid. So in order to set this where I want it, I'll lock the position down. It's really, really easy to set this in place in that we just bring the wheels up to it and you can see my piece isn't a hundred percent uh running true right now we'd put this on and basically now we're good to go we need to make sure that this is running true of course um, and then if you want to tighten it up a little you just push down and retighten everything and you're good to go so the advantage to this now is when I get in here and I can put a lot of pressure on the side, I'm not going to pull it out of the chuck. I'm not going to pull it off center. I'm not going to uh, get an accidental catch because I moved it off center. Uh, and once again, should you need to do some, uh, some extra work on this, you need to get in here uh, to do something, you remove one bolt here. You can just remove one bolt here and it'll act as a, as a pivot. It's very, very quick and very, very easy. Your range will go from what you see here and on a 16, that's about 14 inches, maybe 13 and three quarters or so, all the way down to about the size of your thumb. So half inch to three quarters when you tighten uh, everything up. The reason that I chose the 80-20 uh, type of aluminum extrusion with all the slots in it 
is because in the future, if I decide I want to add accessories to this, like something that will hold maybe a Harry Potter wand or a crochet hook, I can bypass the big wheels and I have a mounting place for little stuff. So that'll make it even more versatile. So let me summarize what we've been talking about here. You use a steady rest for inside hollowing or from, for whenever you're trying to eliminate vibration on a vessel, or you also use it for long things like uh, uh, balusters or small thin stuff, Harry Potter wands, uh, cue sticks, thin candlesticks, anything where you need to stabilize it. What I've designed here for you is very, very strong. It's an inch thick extruded aluminum for strength. It's got all kinds of slots in it so you can mount extra stuff if you want to. It disassembles very quickly by removing really two bolts and then you have an axle. You can take it completely apart by taking off the other bolt. Um, all of your uh, bearing surfaces here are professional grade. Uh, there are ADEC7 or AD, ADC7 bearings in here, two per wheel, 84 millimeters. Your base material is half inch high density polyethylene. The reason I love this material is because it's practically indestructible. I mean, I guess if you ran over it with a Mack truck, you might be able to hurt it. But other than that, uh, this is a lifetime investment. So I've made it uh, as, as sturdy as humanly possible, as easy to mount and dismount, to work around uh, as, as you can do. So my name is Ron Brown. Remember that wherever you go, there you are. Thanks for watching.